And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sea Monster Control. That's right, we're going to be playing some more Sea Monsters, but playing a control deck with them. Because there is so much aggro in the format right now, a whole bunch of aggressively slanted midrange. So we're going to be pairing up our Sea Monster top end with, you know, like these Devour the Depths, Shipwreck Hoarder, of course our Nautilus. Pairing this with like good removal. So we got Withering Will, we got Grasp the Undying. In particular, I really want to have removal for um, like decks that go wide. And so that's why I'm playing like this champion that you may not think goes in a, a Sea Monsters deck, but we're gonna be playing three Twisted Fate. Cause mostly I'm looking at this card as a four mana two, two, that whenever you play it, you deal one to all enemies in the enemy nexus. So it kind of gives us a, a cheap sweeper, a one a one damage sweeper. So we can pair Twisted Fate with Make It Rain with Withering Whale. And combining all three of those cards should hopefully be just, you know, swarms of one damage, uh, keeping back um, aggressive decks and like decks that are trying to go wide. That's, that's the plan um, in our control deck. <clears throat> You may notice that I have like Thorny Toad and Dead Bloom Wanderer. These are the only two toss cards that I'm playing at all. So I'm really not focused on on the, the toss part. And therefore, I'm really not focused on getting deep too much. I'm not playing like a whole bunch of card draw. Um, well, we have a lot of cards that are like two for ones and like that, that have like some, some card advantage in them. But I'm not playing like the four mana toss to draw to. Because I've actually been dis I've actually been disappointed with this card. Um, I feel like everybody is putting that card everywhere. Salvage um, as just oh, it's you just play the draw two. But I think it's kind of for for how aggressive this metagame is. I think this is actually a little overcosted, and this isn't uh, like helping people stabilize. And you, you gotta you have to spend your first six turns affecting the the board and stabilizing. And, and this is just not something that I want in my hand to like turn seven on so i'm not not playing that um same kind of thing uh the, the terror of the tides is a great sea monster for ending the game but we're not we're not focused on any of the game we're focused on staying alive and uh, therefore we're not playing at terror of the tides that was one of my last cuts also we got a ruination in here also to to clear to uh be another um sweeper where maybe people don't expect it with our um with our sea monsters and then just playing a ruination um uh but rip isn't riptide rip wait riptide rex riptide rex is very good um but anyway i was talking about terror of the tides but um but yeah so we're just we're just focused on um playing you know playing a cheaper game i'm still going lure the depths i still think that that's probably good enough um, you know, Jaw Hunters is, is very good as, as a two for one. Um, you know, we're, we're going to maybe have like turn two lure, turn three beast below. I like beast below because this is, you know, something, a big body we can play early, um, as a really good blocker. So I'm excited about this deck. I think this could be, could work out very well. Um, we're probably not going to level up Nautilus very easily. And that's why I'm only playing the two Nautilus instead of three. Um, and honestly, it's possible that this should maybe be a different champion instead of Nautilus. There's there's a lot of great champions, um, but maybe we should be playing a different one. Anyway, here we go. Let's play some sea monsters. You know, like what what's a sea monster deck without Nautilus though, right? We're going sea monster control. Oh, the four mana stun card. Um, Well, I, I don't think I'm playing that. I'm, I'm not playing any... I don't think I'm playing a 4-mana stun card in here. Alright, but Nautilus is, is going to be getting mulligan because that's definitely a late-game card. If I keep two 4-drops, that means I'm playing 1 on 5. So do I want, like, a 3, 4, 5? Or do I want to look for something with that costs 2? I think I'll keep the... I'll keep those... So it's like if they go real wide, we have the Twisted Fate, or if they just have like a bigger thing that we need to block, we have the Beast Below. It's nice having that versatility. Oh, that Riptide, the card that Nautilus transformed to? Yeah, yeah, so we're not, we're not playing that card. Yeah. 
know that? A fight to cook it. All right, looks like a fight to cook in. So they got the fortune favors the bold. The very good start. Let's see if I play Gonna do this. Fleet Feather Tracker should be killing the Dead Bloom Wanderer. I can have my 1 4 block the Misfortune and do 1 damage to Misfortune. Okay, yeah, never mind. They're gonna go like that, so that's not worth it. So we'll block here. Right, they're not gonna they don't need to pump that up. So I'll Vile Feast to the 4-1. And then play beast play another beast below. If they play something pre-combat. Alright, well then we'll play this thing. Wow. Ranger's Resolve is just busted. Yeah, I mean, that's that's game. <laughs> that single card just won this game. Wow, that card is so good. Especially against especially against my strategy of, of death by one damage. It's just perfect. Definitely the card that the, the you know previous season. To tell. I was when we did our set review. I was telling y'all this is a really really good card, and it should be in your Demacia decks. Pretty great. I can't vile feast because these things have toughness. Time for violence. Can't bite on an empty stomach. I should have made that first block. I don't know. Obviously, I really hope they don't just also have, you know, a six drop. I don't know. They still have four cards. Like, great hand, you know, GG's. Fleet Feather Tracker, and War Chefs, into Misfortune, into Grizzled Ranger. Those are the, there's where the turned one through four. And then the four mana scout plus the one mana give all your stuff uh, toughness against my removal spell. It's just, it's the best one, turns one through five you can have. Wait, 
One man card, one of that game. That was incredible. Also, just having that that uh, <laughs> that one through four curve fleet feather tracker, um, four chefs, misfortune, grizzled ranger. Pretty silly. All right, get rid of this. We'll keep these. Hey, new bloco. <laughs> Sorry, the highlight's overpriced. I'm only going to have four mana next turn. Not going to be able to Withering Whale. Yeah, I'm basically setting up so I don't have to Withering Whale now. Um, you know, we can wait on the Withering Whale, but, you know, want to Abyssal Eye and hope they don't kill my Abyssal Eye. And then uh, strike them. That's my plan. <laughs> Making the chat purple. Highlighting everything. Gotcha. So if we Withering Whale, we got two, two extra mana, which is only enough mana for Vile Feast. Hope they're not splashing Demacia for the card that gives all their things toughness. <laughs> that would have been bad. Hmm. I do kind of want to just play this stuff pre combat. Four, five, six, seven. Nah, we'll just we'll just go straight to attacks. Is it? Enticing to attack with more. And I think it is worth it playing the Hoarder to get these, the two treasures just in the deck. Because the treasures are uh, cards I'd really like to draw. 
So I want to get those in the deck right away. Yeah, I know they're playing PNC, but... See, there we go. Treasure Trove. Great. Five random cards in hand. Right, that's probably their last Brood Awakening. Probably, but who knows. That's the third one they've cast, but who knows. Maybe they'll play more. Alright, the Treasure Trove. Ranger's Resolve. See, I'm, I'm splashing for Ranger's Resolve. We got one mana card, one mana card, two mana card, three mana card, four mana card. It's only my second treasure trove to cast. The last one had three one mana cards. I found my family, my blood. Go ahead, do one damage to all my stuff. Fly if you don't try. I dare you. Cast a Withering Whale, I dare you. Let's do it, Withering Whale. Where's my axe? Go ahead. What are you waiting for? You know you want to. Uh... It still dies. I don't know who to do that other one on. We're a little ways away from being deep. Only 12. I don't know. I mean, I think it's probably just like the 1-1s to incentivize them, you know, blocking the 1-1s. on the toe because it has the last breath trigger. Um, I, mean, I kind of want to play this card. Like maybe I should do it on the Crimson Curator to incentivize them blocking the Crimson Curator. And maybe I you know, get to get a free crimson. Blood and guts, golden glory. Need more sea monsters. Uh, I'm not sure, legendary. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't really thought about it, honestly. So have y'all been have y'all been playing on mobile at all? The Dross. Your phone can't handle it? Oh, that's too bad. 
yeah, I've, I've been really liking it. Sky, yeah, you have. You said mobile makes it easier to grind it for what I need it, to be honest. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I like sometimes, like, I'll, like, you know, sometimes I just kind of sit on the couch for a little bit, then I'm just pull it up, play a game or two. Usually one game, and then, you know, but, but yeah, it's really nice. Oh, you had to change your phone language because of it? Yeah, it account syncs, yeah. Um, yeah, like whenever you like whenever you download it on your phone, uh, like the first thing that comes up, you know, you can log into your Riot account. Um, and you log into your Riot account and, and like, yeah, I just had all, all my stuff that I have here on the computer. I just had on the, you know, all the decks, every, you know, everything. It was just like logging into the computer. So much removal. What are we doing? Puts them down to seven. I could, mace, I, I could grasp my own thing and they go to four, but that's probably not worth it. Twisted Fate would be a good draw. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get that card draw. Wonder if I should. Let's see. Would it make sense just to stun this thing right now? No, I probably want to get some card draw in. A good gold card. Because otherwise I'm chump blocking. I'm always up for a round or two. We'll, we'll chump block with the, the thorny toad. Gain two life with that. Okay, they are not attacking. No. Yeah. Unfortunately, this doesn't work. Yeah, I guess they could have Atrocity. That'd be sad. Um, that's good. Alright, attack with you. You, you. You, you, you. This helps against Atrocity. Don't do it, though. Don't do it. Just concede. Concession on the stack. Probably game one way or the other. If they play Ledros, I'll play the, the Plate Ornit egg. I, I don't want to play like this egg first and then they Ruination. Yeah, this has been a great match. 
Karina Control. I'm guessing this is Karina Control. You know, it just has Thai in it. But everything else they've been doing looks exactly like Karina Control. Versus Sea Monster Control. Sea Monsters. Yeah, I just have the two Nautilus. But yeah, haven't drawn one yet. I only drew one one of the three Twisted Fates so far, right? Also. They're chilling in there. Let's get some deep play worms. These are some sea monsters right here. Opponent surrendered. Can't handle those sea monsters. All right, one-on-one. One. Nice. Braum Twisted Fate. Hmm. My plan of against aggro kill all their stuff like these three cards are like great together against aggro but i feel like they're not very good against braum so i kind of feel like we want to find like the lure of the depths plus sea monsters against braum yeah this kind of stuff this kind of stuff I cast it now if I don't want to draw the sea monster from my deck, which I don't think I do. So I think I cast it now. Like, I, I don't think I wanted that to be my, my card for turn. <clears throat> Maybe I did, though. I don't know, that would have been better than Thorny Toad. <laughs> oh, Thorny Toad. Abyssal, I like that draw. The real name of this card. Go get him, Abyssal Eye. Go get him. Get him. No! No! Uh, wow, what a card. They're just gonna have all their, like, for all your protection things also, so, like, my Grasp of the Undying is definitely not killing that. Just don't attack. No, guess they attack. If their plan is, so I think their, I think their plan is, um, take heart, and so that, that play ruined take heart. Oh, maybe their plan was foils. What's up, Devourer of the Depths? Um, Um, 
I'll just throw this thorny toad in front of the 7 7. Another lure of the depths would be good. We are flooded in sea monsters over here. Five in our hands. No! I want that card back. Give it back. No, lure the depths. Come back. This isn't how these are supposed to work out. What if they took what if they took a lure of the depths from me? I'd be sad because that'd be our last lure of the depths, but then also it wouldn't do anything for them. Oh man, they're gonna make some big units. Where's our ruination? This card's great, Starlet's here. Quite a ways away from being deep. What you got over there, Pinky? Yeah, they're gonna draw a 5-5 five, five Omenhawk. <laughs> it's a one mana 5-5. Five, five. It's broken. <laughs> yeah, the four or five pool shark. Any attacks? Wow, no attacks. Does it get better for you? Okay, okay. Start drawing cards with Twisted Fate in play. Drawing cards is good because that gets us closer to being deep. So we know they have one of my cards. Don't know which one. That's what's up. That's what's up. My plan was to hunter the starlets here. Hunt that. Our strength is yours. But no, we going deep. We going deep. Let's go. Diving in there. Chomp, 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 chomp. The all seeing eye. All seeing eye. It's a great card to get in, um, oh gosh, what's the name of the, the game? Ascension. Ascension. Hesitation to tell. Stream died. I think this is still recording for YouTube, though. Sweet. We're back. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. That was something weird with uh, Streamlabs there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can still draw a card. Let's do that. Can ruination, but that kind of kills these three things. I like this. I like this combo. 
Twisted Fate, Abyssal Eye, Abyssal Eye. It also does kind of mean I only have three blockers. Yeah, so, so refresh if you don't see anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there, so sorry about that. My recording thing is still, looks like it's still going on. Today we fight as one. Good play. That's what I would have done too. We may end up regretting not having my 3-3 block there at 3-3. Man, we're still six cards away from deep. Well, this is going to help. We'll toss two. Their strategy is also pretty good against mine, with my strategy being... With my strategy being, you know, a lot of things doing one damage and, you know, like, good against aggro, going wide, but they're going so big with all these pumps. Like, you know, their, their one drops are four fives, for example. Playing pretty slowly. Gotta go with the flow. Boo. I don't like five five spray fins. Never lost a fair game. I really don't like seven seven twisted baits either. We know they have a whole bunch of fleeting cards. Got three fleeting cards with this twisted fate. Hesitation to tell. I guess that's that's the best I got. Realized I never uploaded this 
Um, Sejuani Plunder, can I think of a title? Brom. Casting this, so I only have eight cards in hand, so I still get to draw two more. Make Twisted Fades. Seven out of eight. We untap, it's eight out of eight. Okay, we can keep that alive, that's fine. Yeah, there's no double blocking, so that does... So, yeah, uh, bigger creatures are a little bit more valuable for that with... In one respect, but also, um, because damage is permanent, it that that also changes things, too. You know, like against a 5-5, a five five, you can block it with a 3-3 three three one turn, and then now it's a 5-2, so then you can block it with a 2-2 two two the next turn. Shuffle. So the, the damage being permanent makes um, um, ugh. no now do I do I not draw a card now I gotta. I have to just get rid of this vile feast, man. I really want to play this vile feast after we leveled up Twisted Fate. Do I like my hand's full though? So like, the card's gonna get burned. Does that mean that I don't draw it? I guess we have this lure of the depths now. I gotta just throw this away, somewhere. Um. Nice, Matthew. Dude, awesome. Glad you downloaded it on your phone. Yeah, dude, you need to learn this game. This game is, is so much fun. That's what uh, Mike here, uh, Carmax Ninja, just also just got it on his phone, and, and he's been playing it a ton over the last couple of days. Yeah, I mean, just like a double block, you'd lose the two creatures. Um, I mean, just like normally, if you have a, there's a 5-5 five five and you block with a 3-3 three three and a 2-2. Two two. Yep, we have a Twisted Fate fight. Theirs is an 8-8, mine's a 3-3. So the Mega Rain's a good draw, because that can be my third spell, so I can get a blue card, a blue card, a red card, and a gold card. Alright, so if we stun the strongest enemy, that's going to be the Twisted Fate. Uh, I'm gonna make this block. We're gonna make that block. Now we're gonna have this block that. I guess that block's the bigger, that block's here. And then I just cast my three spells. Bad. Oh, I couldn't start with that one. I don't have room. Okay, good. It's so it's not gonna it's gonna go afterwards. These damages like don't matter. I just want the gold card, I just want to stun their twisted fate. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh, that thing's still just a 6x. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I really wish they would say that, like what your rank is. Yeah, so it's iron, then bronze, silver, gold, then platinum, then diamond, then master. Um, but yeah, like, you know, because iron kind of looks like silver and so on. Uh, it just reset whenever this came out. Um, it looks like the next reset's going to be in two months. So, like, they're going to have se two month seasons. What's up, Nautilus? Like, I feel like I'm not playing that much top end. But, like, look at the end. Like, we just get to generate so many um, of these. So many of these sea monsters. Yeah, Nautilus is going to mean we get lots of free sea monsters. I have the treasure trove where I could get five rain other free, ca free cards. Because we are deep, so all of our sea monsters are going to cost four less, and they cost four, 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 two, two, and three. So they cost less than that. That's good. I do wish I could just ruination and kill this twisted fate over there. Yeah, but prob you probably won't, Ruination. I think my plan is a Devourer of the Depths to try to kill Twisted Fate that way. Worst case scenario is they, like, bounce. Or, like, you know, they get rid of my Nautilus, and so I don't get to play all this stuff for free. That would be a nightmare. A Horse Knight. Nightmare. Red card. <clears throat> uh, there's one other treasure in my deck. Dead in their tracks. All right, twist of fate gone. At least that twist of fate. We'll see if they got more. How is this thing just a 2-2? Two -two? They, they must have had this card since the very beginning of the game. They've played a bunch of Averroes and Hearth Guards. Ramon Goreth, four-month streak. Thank you, Ramon. Thanks for keeping that resub going. Undo that. Click on this. Now, where was I? All right. Well, they only have two mana. They have. They haven't stopped. Like this abyssal eye. Well, I guess they tried with that other thing. At least they likely tried. All right. This. Uh, 
down. Yep, that's their second 7-7 seven, seven, Twisted Fate. It's not even the first. All they have to do is play anything in response, and then they get the red card, and then this doesn't work. Oh, no, they get the blue card first. Never mind. So, yeah, they, they had to have a pump spell. Right, that's the blue card first. Well, that worked. But I think this just ends up in us smashing. We'll let Brom level up. Yeah, Brom can level up. Brom's cool. Brom deserves to level up. Some long control mirrors here. I, I like how how our decks looked against these control decks, though. Like we can still grind with them. You know, I'm not playing the four mana draw two. You know, I'm not I'm not playing stuff like that. That's like built on grinding. Um, our deck still can. Like there's just so much card advantage in here, and we have very large creatures. I like this build. So far we got blown out by the one mana card that gave all of my opponent's creatures tough. But besides that, we've been doing very well. Uh... All three mana cards. Are you passing? Seeing what they do, see if I need to play Vile Feast. I don't really want to Vile Feast that thing. I do want to draw removal. So I'll play that right now. Because yeah, like I, I wouldn't want my draw step to be the shipwreck order. It's not bad. We shall not rest until all If I don't block, they're just going to kill it. Like if I if I attack back, they just they just kill it. Yeah, like they'll just block on the way back. That was a great draw. Find some removal for me, Abyssali. I need to kill this Kalista. Kalista. Fate's good. It's just always good. 
always good. I would like to save three mana so we could Ruination next turn, but... Nah. No, you basically never want to block Cursed Keeper. I mean, sometimes they do... You know, they have, like, that four mana card that made it where I wish I would have blocked it, but... I kind of don't ever want to block a Cursed Keeper. <laughs> they don't always have it. Played a lot of Cursed Keeper decks. Don't always have it. Alright, there's two damage on Callista. We got we have Vile Feast for another point. Um, our deck has tons of things that do like one damage, so. Oh really? I just drew a Jaw Hunters that could take care of it. I just wasted that shock. Hmm. What if I need a Jaw Hunters and take that 2-4? It's like Zed plus standalone. I always have it. Not sure if that's the case. Man, Callista or Never Glade Collector. Hey, Nimu. I just feel like it could be easier for me to kill Callista. I just need to find a Withering Whale or make it rain. Something like that. Of withering whale. I can take out a close to. Would it be bad to be able to uh, be deep before playing Beast Below? Alright, I guess they're gonna get their ephemeral thing blocking. And we won't kill Callista because the ephemeral thing will take the damage.
Man, I really like having this Abyssal Eye. We also have a ridiculous amount of cards already. Oh man, I'm so indecisive. So indecisive, there's just so many lines. I don't... I don't like the Ruination line. I don't think that's gonna be the, the play. Like, I think we play Ruination, they refill. Like, like the do nothing and set up in ruination. I do kind of like the untap and withering whales. I did kind of kind of want to play like the the pick a card. Basically because I want to level up uh, Twisted Fate, but Piggy Car is just not the best play. Ugh. That was gross. And I think I pass. I don't know. I, so I could Vile Feast Callista, but if I do that, then then they play something else, which I guess they're not going to play like Rekindler or anything. Like what? Worst case scenario, they just play another Callista. Yeah, I can keep them from drawing too. I don't think we're. I, I also just don't think Ruination is a very good play. Like I have to, you know take mana off and like bank three mana and then take an entire turn to ruination and i think that they they have enough gas where if i do that um i don't really have gas left you know i have like expensive units and stuff like that and i think they'll be able to refill faster and, and kill me like so i actually don't think that the ruination line would really work too well Yeah, exactly. You want a ruination when their hand's like almost empty, like when you're you're using this as like a finishing spell uh, to like finish the game and, and get rid of all sorts of stuff. Hesitation to tell. We're two away from deep. Oh, they have Vi in their deck? That's cool. So it's going to do one damage. Uh, one. No, right. Fearsome. Man, Twisted Fate, you're about to level up. I just take this. I go to 10. I mean, this, I go to 15. They keep that 4 2. Or I go to 10 and we kill that thing. Is it worth 5 life getting that thing off the battlefield? 
probably. So we're about to get three fleeting cards. It's going to turn us deep and level up Twisted Fate. If they kill my Twisted Fate right now, that's going to be a, a bad plan. Cards. Looks like I'm on a hot street. We're playing a card game inside of a card game. All right, so I could do the pick a, the pick a card again and get rid of one of these things. Okay, so Nautilus. Make sea monsters cheaper, but I don't really have other sea monsters to play. Alright, so if I go five, six, seven, eight, I'd have three more mana, I could play like Wanderer also. No, I'd probably play Hunters. Yeah, we play Hunters. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got I got I got plans. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, do this, that. Sorry. No, that was burst speed? Oh, I guess I could have done the Jaw Hunters also. Whatever. I don't like that they played this thing. I don't like that they played this thing. Well, Dead in their tracks. I guess that's not, I mean, cause yeah, cause you know, we stunned that thing now. We're not stunning anything else. Like that thing is gonna go away anyway. I guess I was, I was worried that they're gonna have the Ionia card that gave me, um. Going harvesting. So I was worried that they were gonna have the Ionia card that, you know, death mark. You know, get rid of the ephemeral, but I guess that is Ionia. They're not playing Ionia. They just had nothing. I wonder what else they got in their hand over there. No, too many cards. Dude, Sea Monster Control is sweet. This is already like a, a long, like this is like one of our longest videos of playing five games. We've only played four games. <laughs> sea monster control. I like this deck. Like Twisted Fates are just a good card. Something unorthodox. Um. 
but I'm really glad that I added it in here. All right, so this looks like Karina Control again. Let's get rid of Abyssal Eye to start with, and one Withering Whale will keep the other. I do have Twisted, no, because I want to draw with Twisted Fate and want to use this to clean up spiders. Hey, Warmonger, welcome back. Okay. Uh, I will draw. I wouldn't mind drawing a, a sea monster. I pull the strings. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Cool, yeah, you had a coworker make a Nautilus deck? Nice. Yeah, Nautilus is pretty sweet. We could use a bite. It's acceptable. No blocks. Alright, pass it over to us. This is my highest upside play is playing Abyssal Eye, but if they have Grasp the Undying or Get Excited or Gotcha, a lot of ways that make me very sad. So is it better to wait until I <laughs> am deep? That's 16 cards away. Or at least give them some other options on removal. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm i going to play the, the high upside card. I'm going to play the best card. I hope they don't have Gotcha, Get Excited, or Grasp the Undying. Just play, I don't know, some spiders or something. No. No. I don't like that. Alright, your turn. I don't have my 4-4 die to those removal spells. It's a lot harder for them to kill a 4-4. I don't want to, like, attack, they block with this thing, and then they then they kill this, and then they get a free attack with Elise. Use Thermogenic Beam. Go ahead. There's no way they just don't attack, right? Like, what if they would have just passed the turn back? I would have just wasted this mana. That would have been sad. See? They had that gotcha if I would have attacked into the 2 1. It would have got me. So young. That was a 2 mana gotcha. So maybe they didn't actually. They just drew it. Another Abyssal Eye? What is up? Let's go. They can't have a third gotcha. No. Boo. Good shot, good shot. You made it. Make it, take it. It's a good card to toss. You got ruination to the other day. Yeah. yeah, you gotta gotta watch out for those ruinations. It's definitely a good one. We're seven away from deep.
think they're gonna play Ledros up next. Could have ruination also. I guess this isn't really overextending too much. It's not like these two cards are any good, so. Could be a game that Ledros wins. So it looks like it's gonna be. I've run out of gas. Just don't need any of these. <laughs> any of those four cards, don't need any of them. I wish I could block with this thing. Make sure to level up so I can. I don't know. Put. I want. Yeah. Basically, I don't want to like throw this out there and it not level up. Like they just use vengeance or whatever. No, I don't like the four mana draw two toss two card. I've, I've yeah I've talked about that one at the beginning. It's. Um. It's too slow against all these aggro decks, and the meta is so aggro heavy. With that being said, we've just faced control here, which is weird. <laughs> the other two decks we faced, like, we faced, like, ten aggro decks in a row, and now this video we faced, like, you know, five control decks. Um, four-way. That does two. Don't want to attack with Ledros, huh? This does four damage to me, I'm gonna probably die. I want to play Nautilus this turn. Y'all are being rude. 
I guess we're not playing Nautilus this turn. We kind of need to play Nautilus this turn. No! Does that count? No. Yeah, we were gonna we were in just really, really tough spots there. You know, against the Korean control they all we had were just removal spells, and that, that's all we just kept drawing was removal, 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 but just like, you know, Withering Whales and Vile Feasts and Grass. Like, you know, we, we that's all we kept drawing, and once they have Ledros, I didn't, I didn't have the ability to go over the top. So we went 1-1 one one against Karina Control. We, we did beat that deck before, we had, um, earlier, but uh, we lost that one, so that happens. Um, you know, 3-2 and two against... Basically all control decks. Um, not bad. Uh, I guess we, we did face the one aggro deck. Um, I don't know. Maybe we faced two. I don't remember. But anyway. Yeah, this deck looked really impressive. We did lose the one time because we got blown out with the Withering Whale. Uh, they had, like, our first loss, if you remember, to, you know, like three hours ago when that was <laughs> in these five games. Uh, the Demacia one mana instant give all your creatures tough. That, that was just a blowout. They cost me that first one. Um, that card's great. So, you know, GG's. And then, yeah, um, double Ledros, Karina Veraza. Those cards are also great, so GG's. But yeah, de definitely, our deck can grind really well. It has a lot of good stuff. I like the these elusive Abyssal Eyes were incredible. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff in this deck. And I like how we can handle things that go wide. A Twisted Fate just looked awesome. You know, sometimes we draw draw a card, sometimes we got a stun, but a lot of times do one damage to all their, their things. So against all these aggro decks running around, you go Twisted Fate for one damage to everything, Make It Rain one damage to everything, Withering Whale one damage to everything. And pretty soon, you know, like you're, you're taking out everything. Then, you know, you got like your Vile Feast to help pick off like that one extra damage for other things and maybe get you a Spiderling to block to do an extra point of damage. Um, and then, yeah, you know, your Wanderers and your Toads. So you just get your blockers, go to your late game. Um, you know, have Jaw Hunters make sea monsters. Lure the Devs get you sea monsters. Um, your Shipwreck Hoarder gives you your, your treasures. And, yeah, good late game in here. <clears throat> yep, yep. Whenever a champion levels up, all, all the future champions with that are, are also leveled up. It's, it's leveled up for good. Yep. Um, all, all other copies and everything, they're all leveled up. All right, so that's Sea Monster Control. Awesome deck here. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the deck. Uh, if you try it out, let me know uh, what you think, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, you know, like, yeah, basically I liked, I liked everything that I had going on here. Um, all right, but that's it here for Sea Monster Control. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.